Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Today I have something pretty cool to show you. So if we just turn around over here we got this handsome fella. Now this is a Minecraft armor stand swapper. Now if you don't know what that is it is a pretty old concept that goes back into the early 1.8 snapshots when it, the armor stands have first been introduced. Um, it is pretty much we got an armor stand over here right and with the press of a button or a lever or pressure plate whatever type of input you really want it will swap the armor stand with another one and with this design that i've come up with it can store up to five different armor stands and with commands if you want you can give the armor stand hands so you can put like swords and pickaxes and that kind of stuff so that is pretty cool so let's show it in action shall we we got diamond and then we got leather chain iron gold and then back to diamond and here's the design without all of the aesthetics as you can see it's fairly compact three by three and eight blocks tall and the reason i like this design a little bit more than the other great designs out there already is because it uses the new feature or mechanic or bug whatever you want to call it in minecraft 1.9 or trapdoors no longer need to have a block behind them to attach to so you can have floating trapdoors like so and therefore we can have the trapdoors like this and we can avoid uh ha having blocks over here which will require us to rewire the redstone quite a bit another good thing to mention is that i designed swappers that can swap four armor stands or three armor stands as you can see over here now the differences between these two and the one that can store five are very minimal stuff like this repeater being on four ticks and over there it's on three ticks etc but i'm going to be focusing today on this one over here but of course there is a world download in the description below if you want to have a closer look at these ones and of course, you can use iron trapdoors instead of the wooden trapdoors if you want to avoid accidentally right-clicking one of the trapdoors. But it is just a tad more expensive. But that's not a big deal, is it? Enough talking. How about we start the building tutorial of this video? So, you're going to need a 3x3 area right over here. And you're going to stack 7 blocks up from the base. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you can already put your first trap door right over here. And this is your floor level. Just so you can get a perspective on how big this is going to be. To build it in your survival world. So yeah, this is the floor level right over here. Coming back down to the base. You're going to punch out the middle block. Paste a sticky piston with a slime block on top. Place a repeater right here to the side of it set on three ticks facing that direction. Next, you're going to place three redstone dust. So that's one, two, and three with a block on top of this redstone dust and a redstone torch right over here. Next, you're going to get an immovable block. In this case, I'm going to get a um, furnace. Place it right over here with a repeater facing into the block with the torch. Set it on three ticks like so. Sticky piston with the block on top and another immovable block right over here with a redstone dust, go up a block and another redstone dust. And this is your input. So you can check in your button over here just for demonstration purposes. Next up, we're going to place a block right over here with a torch over here and over here. A block on top of this torch with another redstone torch over here. Another block on top of that torch with a redstone torch over here. And guess what? Even another block on top of that redstone torch. Next up, we're going to come over here, place a block on top of this redstone repeater with a repeater facing out of here, leading into a block with a redstone dust and another redstone dust going up a block just like that. And that, believe it or not, is all the redstone done for this device. Next thing to do is place in your trap door. So we got one on top of here. You're going to right click on top of this redstone torch right over here. You're going to put another one to the side of this block right over here. And you're going to place another one to the side of this torch right over here. So now you have place for one armor stand, two armor stand, three armor stand, four armor stand, and five armor stand. So just place a block right over here to place the armor stands. Grab yourself an armor stand from the creative inventory. Obviously, if you're in survival, you're going to craft it. And you're going to place one over here. Press a button. That one is now in the system. One over there again. Press a button. That is now in the system. One more. Press the button in the system. One more, like so. And last but not least, you have your final armor stand. So now you got five armor stands. Now with the press of a button, the one that's on top of the slime block here is going to be the next one up in line up above. So as you can see, there we go. Perfect, works perfectly. That's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to click on that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe? As always, there's a world download in the description below. But uh, yeah, that's it for me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.